four lintels in there and none of them are doing the job. <laughs> Which is just mad. And, hey, I have my <laughs> and I have my glamorous assistant up with me with his trowel. <laughs> you go down the ladder. I don't want to go down again. Yeah, but someone's got to take the bucket. So take the four courses off, put our new angle lines in, which are around the corner on the roof. Oh, I hope they hope they're still there. Welcome to Friday the 31st of May, last day of May. Last day of May. And I'm in a hoodie. I'm freezing. We're starting this today. I'm finishing it. It's been, it's, it's very, I can't work it out, but there's lintels in. And then these bricks have been put in on top of the windows and then they fell down and this is all original at the top, it's all cracked. So it's a bit of a mess really, but um, a straightforward fix. <laughs> put our new angle lines in, which are around the corner on the roof. Oh, I, hope they, I hope they're still there. Yeah, there they are. Drying out in the sunshine. Um, hey, I still need to sign up for that one. You what? All oh, right, that's dead, so we're okay with that. We're not going to wake the whole neighborhood up, so I'm told, but uh, you never know. So, this is a good, good uh, example of what the bricks were like when they were new very dark and smooth, and then they weather down to that. We've got this problem pillar, we're, we're just going to have 50 mil seats in for each lintel, but you can't put a bigger seat in it, that's all you've got and then it's just brickwork up past the soffit. Bring the line through it. And then that's it. We shouldn't need any power tools. We can't get in today, the door's locked. <laughs> this could have been done two days ago because um, we keep seeing the weather forecast and it's been bad for the last two days. So we're not bothered, but the last two days the weather's been fine. But uh, we don't want to start taking this out and then be rained off, so we wait for a full, guaranteed nice day. And this is this is what's forecast all day. So I'm going to put you down somewhere and start doing some demolition. Serves you well, there's another course above this which is doing nothing. That's why this isn't coming out so easy. Persuasion, there you go. That's the first one out. Now things should start happening. There you go, that's been pistoled. See? That's been pistoled over the lintel for some bizarre reason. See? Took the frog off. They've all been done like that. I don't know why. The pistol brick can go back on the top course with the frog sticking up. Obviously with the frog in the right way. And then you've got this one. With the lintels on it. Absolutely pathetic. Our lintels need to be on this brick here. So. A bit like breaking concrete up once you've got a open end you're flying you know mate don't worry about all that and that's coming off all right yeah oh yeah that will it's probably three to one that there you go another course we're gonna got a load of spare bricks here so we've got the acros what for they're coming out too. How the hell are you going to put them back in? We're not. 
They're staying out, same as Andy's. We, we didn't put them back in. Didn't we? No, they're not doing anything. They're just sat behind the air. Uh... Yep. At least we're able to keep it a bit quieter for uh, next time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then it's just people done just done the day to day waking you up. Maybe it's a good thing we didn't start at half seven today. Never seen daylight, these ones. No. Yeah, nothing there, look. No. That's where all the work's getting done on the wall plate. Let's just have a show you. There you go. We've got this ropey angle line and this ropey angle line and then this lintel behind it. So what's going on there? I'm just David attempted to put that underneath here. Mission failed. So there you go, the brickwork goes up for one, five courses. But you see the top course has never seen daylight. So we're not putting that one back in. We're just going up to, up to here. And then that's it. We've got spare bricks for all the jobs on this estate because no doubt we'll be doing more. And there's the common bricks at the back. You've got your wooden lintel, four courses of commons. And then the wall plate and your roof. So this front skin isn't doing anything structural. So we can do away with that, that top course. And do away with these ropey second hand lintels that have been put in. I just, I can't work out when they've been done, if they're original or what. That's not original. And the, uh, the three to one mortar's not original. But, uh, maybe we'll find out as we go on. But, yeah, Alex got a lot of bricks to clean. Once I've got them all out, I'll help. I've got both scutches up here, so back to town, that's why we drop this. Um, Alex is getting through them nice and quick. That's why. Yeah, you picked a bad one to look at now. Sand line falls off, it just crumbles off, and the three to one sand cement just. I think for what it's worth, there. Uh, leave that on. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, you can see all the bricks that have been pistoled around the lintels. It's, it's, I'm, I'm trying to think of titles for this video, and I think probably double botch job. We've got four lintels in here, believe it or not. You've got, I don't think they're original, but um, if they are, they're very rusty. Second hand full of holes. You've got these catnicks, the catnick hat, angle lines have been put in, but done that letterbox style, slotted in underneath, and another one here, as you can see, doing nothing. And then um, this is, if you look at the try and get side on, show you the angle. That's leaning back. It's just doing sod all that. It's grim this. It's just, just bad workmanship fixed by bad workmen. So there's the most where they just slotted the bricks in. I'll just take this one out. So it's only silicon holding these in. There's nothing else holding these in. That. We've got quite a few choices to give um, 
titles for this video. Yeah, it's a disgrace that. This is a mess. Very rusty. But I think it went in rusty to be honest. It's not getting any weather up here. As you can see, everything's just tipping back. But I think ours is going to be tipping back because we've just got to follow what's there. And the fascia board is, yeah, it's all plastic. That's been done properly. There's no timber above that. The soffit. And it's a vented soffit too. Yeah, we'll keep going. Get the rest of these out, get this lintel down and then head down that end on the big window. There you go, that's where we're up to. I'm gonna take that out and level it up. As you can see, it's popped, the lintel's popped it up. Should really build it in. I'll get rid of it, but um, I don't like taking things out like that, just in case. It's put there for a reason, so. So there you go. Two, um, two lintels rammed in underneath the existing lintels sort of put, put in it sometime after the windows have changed because you tell by the corners that they used to have the timber windows with the joggers on so it was built they were built over the timber so two badly done jobs and if you look at the the back one that they've put in just let me show you that's what 40 mil seating so it's pretty useless anyway you can't do keyhole surgery doing lintels. Don't care what anyone says, you can't do it. Not properly. You've got half a chance, even with this where you've got half a chance where you don't need a tray, but look at the state of it. Look, this, this mortar just tucked under there. This is what came out. So, it's, not even, it's only halfway under. It's not even filled it. So I'm going to get these out now, rip all the lintels out, and then go and have a break, I think, Al. It's not even half nine yet, because Zoe's still on. Then after break, we'll get the hoover up, get it all hoovered out, and then I'll jump on these with Alex and help him get these done. Bring me all cushion up for my knees. So yeah, let's get the rest of these out, and then um, have a break. Hey. Well. Lintel's still attached at the moment. Oh. Pull it to you. you Sorry, pull it to you. That's it. Look, they put the tiny angle iron over the big opening and put the big fat one over the small opening. Watch your eyes. Second hand again. Yeah. What size is that, Al? Wait. What's the upstand? It looks about three and a half, maybe. So 75. I'm going 75. So 75 is the the bottom bit. What's the upstand on it? It's even smaller. 65. So 75. That's three b two and a half and it's it's thin isn't it it's only eight it's only eight mil steel that isn't it and the, this lintel has wait for it drum roll well, you got more than me i've got 40. so between them they've nearly got 90. and look i can see a gap between them there they should be touching over that middle pillar so it's probably got even less seat in there, yeah. 
You can take the camera and show how what seating it's got on it. They should be cut. They should be uh, touching in the middle to get maximum seating, which is only 50 mil. That brick, that brick's loose. You can take that out if you want. Holy cow, there's so many titles we can have for this video. That one there is solid because it's got a uh, foam underneath it. Did you, fit, did you see them when you come out? Yeah. Who was it? Yeah. Surprised it wasn't your mum. <laughs> Alex, ring him up, ring him up. I'm not ringing him. Yeah. I think we need, need a new lens cover. There we go, all stripped out. Gonna loosen this off and put that back in. We've got our seating. We're not messing around with trays or vents or anything like that. We're just gonna insulate it. Got plenty of insulation with us. And uh, yeah. There's the seating. And it, it leans back by a substantial amount. So I'm going to have to cut this silicon to cut it off the frame now and it's um, it's solid because I'm pretty sure it's stuck down with the um, expanding foam. There we go. What time is it? Quarter to 11. Way past that. Is it? It's uh, 10 past 11. Oh, it's not way past. It's <laughs> alright. So there you go. Seating, trim staying on because the trim's in, in the right position. As you can see, that trim's the same. It's got a bit of a sag in it, but we can seal up from that. Um, I took that, where's that half out? Just show them the half. You mean the closure? This is what I'd, that's what those two lintels are sat on. Not bad, eh? So we're replacing that with the full half. So yeah. Got something to sit on. Queen's closure and an Empress closure. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, it's ready for hoovering now. I'm stripping the rest of the crap off the scaffolding. All the lintels at the front. One, two, three, four. The tiny ones over the big the big window. The big ones over the little window. And then these two things are slotted underneath behind them. Doing nothing. Can I just say, um, when I said Empress closure, I was joking before someone tries to correct me by it. Someone. There's no such thing as an Empress closure. I was joking. Go back to college. If you even if you went to college in the first place. Don't bother cleaning it. It's going in the bin. Oh yeah, I'm just seeing how tough the water is. Too tough to clean off. Right, I'm going to get the Uber on and get ready to get these lintels on. Put a piece of brick in there to just fill that up, and then the lint will go over that. In fact, we might have to knock that brick off because we only have 50 mil seat in here, so it's going to sail through that way, which doesn't really matter because there's no trays to go past it. And this one, we'll see where this one lands. This will end up over here somewhere, but uh, we don't really want to be taking that out. We'll, we'll cut the bread out if we have to fill the frogs up. Fill that hole up at the back with a piece of brick. It's a bit more stable. There's your um, proof that it was wooden windows. That's where the joggle of the window used to the point a bit at the top of the window used to stick in. And you put that one over the top. So this is a two hand grenade job lintels done on it. 
So this is the third time this is a lintel's done on it. So it's the fourth time that the winds have been built over. That's a lot of work. It's not easy work because I bet the bit after the, bit after the stuff we've done off a ladder. You need a scaffold like this for this job. We just made up. We like these ones because there's no propping, no tray, no vents. And I've just noticed this lintel is one continuous piece of timber. That was a very frustrating hour and a half, probably longer. I've uh, been to the letting office and got the key, so we're in. Got a mix on. This thing here. If I can find the spirit level. You can see how bad it is by the window. So it's a bit out of plumb to there. And from there to there. It's that out of plumb. So I've put my half on top and pushed it back. And then we're going to sit the lintel back a bit and step it all back like that. Because it's only a silly ass little pillar in the middle, it won't look as bad as going over a big pillar. Realistically, this should be taken out. But we're not here to do that, we're just to do the top. Um, that's a massive job to take this out with the, lit with the windows in situ. And it's just a half brick on a half brick. So the windows are all holding everything together at the moment. So we're just weakening everything by taking that out. It's even twisted, look at it. You think these jobs are straightforward and they're not. So I'm gonna get this, lint, this small, small lintel on now and get it packed up, ready to go. And then I'm gonna drop on this one. This only pack is going in behind this trim. So let's get this thing on. Now we've got difference in heights between the windows, so I'm going to have to sit the big one on first and sit it on the 100 mil, and then we're going to sit the smaller one on top of the big one and lap, actually lap the lintels over so they're sat on each other 100 mil, giving us the best chance rather than having 50 50. So I just need to knock a bit out of this side here, slide the lintel over far enough. Right, that one's in. Just needs propping at the back because it's now half leaning back, so we need to try and just lean it forward a bit. So, um, the windows are fitted all wonky as well. But let's just see if we've, we're above the trim there and we're behind the trim there, but that's where we need to be to get the brickwork straight across. Very frustrating, but we just keep going. Back on town that's for a bit now.
there we go. I had to take this damn trim off because it had a big smiley face. Well, it wasn't very happy, but it had a big dip in it. So it needs re-sticking and putting back level with the lintel. So there's our lintel. Um, there you can see the pillar now, how it goes. It doesn't actually step back as much as I thought it would. I thought it's going to look worse than that. So we're happy with that. And what we've ended up doing is one lintel's higher than the other. So we've put the long one on to this edge and put the short one over it and lapped it. So these two lintels lap over each other, which is, a, it's like um, the Matrix with um, what's his name, Merovingian, cause and effect. I drink too much wine, I have to pee. If you change something on your brickwork, it affects something else. So because I've stacked the lintel on top of each other, it's pushed this lintel out a bit. So I had to push it back a bit further. So it's all about fettling and making it right. So that polished turd actually doesn't look that bad. Not as bad as I thought it would. It definitely won't look as bad from downstairs. Don't forget we're up on the scaffold here. So um, there you go. I tell you what, it's a lot straighter than it was. That's the main thing. And hey, I have my <laughs> and I have my glamorous assistant up with me with his trowel. <laughs> it's not often we both get on the trowel and lintel jobs. No. Yeah. When I was walking up before, I was looking, it, it looks weird that it's intact. Yeah. Yeah, this is, there's, there's so many titles we can have for this video, but um, there's four lintels in the van. So this is number lintels five and six, but um, it's seven and eight being built over the windows. So that's a bit bonkers, isn't it? I'll tell you what, these were nice brick when, you first, when they were first bought. Look at them. Then they weathered down to that. We should look alright like that. But yeah, we've this is um we've done lime water on here, we've put a bit of lime in it, which Alex, Alex doesn't like. Look at, what's it gooey? Yeah. Gooey. It seems to go off quicker as well, doesn't it? Which is what we need today really. Yeah. Yeah, so um Preferences, I suppose. Yeah, so the alarm box is gone. I haven't disconnected it, I've just pushed up inside there. So it's still there, uh, it's still connected, so I don't want to short circuit anything. It's just off the wall now. So We've had a very frustrating middle of the day. Oh yeah, and the game, um, we're working away and three of the students just walked out and went went out. Couldn't be bothered answering the door to us, so that cost me driving across town to get the keys. Just rude, just rude. They knew we were coming. They could have just answered the door and let us in. All, that's all they had to do, just let us in. But anyway, we're on the home run now. This is where our three quarter lives, so I'm I'm nearly there, next brick is three quarter. So what we're doing is brick to the line, then the top brick. You put it in and then you slide the other one above it. So I'm on my top brick now. So um, tell you what, yeah, I'll just, um, just film this one. Watch me slap it all over the face now because it's being filmed. My ball can probably go now. Yeah. So yeah. So when you're trying to get mortar up there, obviously you can't get your trowel in. So, you've got to get your mortar on your trowel, flip it up, in, and get it off the trowel. And the way you get mortar on your trowel to stay, so if, I, if I've picked that up, if I turn it upside down, it just falls off. So, you take a little bit less, flick it, it just sucks it to the trowel. And then you've got to, you've got to make, um, You've got to make a decisive move, you can't faff with it. So, there you go, that's what we try now. So it's like up and in. And because I'm explaining it, I'm not doing my flow. So it's <laughs> like, I'll probably completely cock it up. So up and in, and then just help it off your trowel. Because obviously it's stuck to your trowel, doesn't want to come off. And then just top it up. We'll wipe all this off after. And then, this is where we get to use all the um, the dud bricks up, all the pistol bricks that they put over the lintels. We're reusing them. So, paper it up into your big gap. Hold it on the bottom. Oh, up into the eaves, along your soffit, into position, and then push your up tight and just give it a wobble. And then. 
There you go. Nice and, nice and straight. You did that with 4% left. 4% battery? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Boom. I'm glad everything's lined up. I'm glad everything's lined up. What do you mean? We've, we've followed the line and we've hit that without having to make it, mm. make it fit. Yeah. Hey, what you should have said, one of pistol bricks, shouldn't you? Yeah. Hey? Yeah. Could be one more student in there decides so they want to go out for an afternoon stroll. Suck <laughs> like brick kid! It's deceptive how much water you need to do in the Yeah. You filming? Yeah. Okay. I must have joined. I'm gonna get our last bucket in a minute. Is that all that's left? That's all we'll need, isn't it? Oh yeah. I tell you what, they joint up nice, don't they? Yeah. It's actually a pretty good looking job. But they feel nice as well when you join in. Yeah. It's a nice smooth aris. Sure, I brought a sponge up here, and I, I did. Hey. I Okay, not bad. What? Got enough bricks up here. Should have. Should have spares. The whole course not going on, isn't it? Imagine trying to get that other course on. How the hell would you go about that? It's absolutely pointless. 
interesting, yeah, because the roof's sitting on the inside skin, isn't it? Nothing sits on the outside skin. No? The outside skin is just a cladding. <laughs> now this one, hang on. This is very hard, this. Oh, that was holding the lintel. <laughs> Fear it then. Yeah. And um, before you move all that around, don't I need to get this brick in first? Yeah, I'm just getting this into position. I should just go in that.
see it last week and this time the I think the structural engineers come in, I think. If I remember right. So we are going he's gone to go and see the job with this engineer so we can get a good run down. Which means I've been left. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> but off camera I've got all the bricks down, I've got most of the stuff down now, it's just the clean up part. So I've got the hoover, and I get all this crap out from it, the this side of the planks. Sweep it all up, put it into the bucket and then hoover up what's left. So I'll go on time lapse for that so you can actually see stuff without hearing the bloody wind slapping this camera's mic around. See you in a bit. I just need to do is move all the um, silicon stuff back into the bucket once I'm done with the once I'm done with that bucket. But there you go. That was a tough job, but I'll tell you what, it bloody it looks fucking good. And I'm well chuffed with that, especially because, like I keep saying, it looks weird seeing it together. Because it's been that long, it just being on the brink like that. And yeah, now it's uh, done and looking snazzy and looking safe. And uh, obviously that was four lintels in there and none of them were doing the job. <laughs> Which is just mad. But there you go. Let's you just go through and if you know what you're going to dig up up there. But yeah, that will be the end of this video. Thank you all very much for watching. If you, let's try and get this right. If you enjoyed, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, you want to see more, hit subscribe and tap on that bell. So you always know when we upload. Any additional support you'd want to give, there is a super thanks under the video or the PayPal and desk description, which isn't necessary by any means. It's an extra way of supporting the channel, which is greatly appreciated, especially since uh, Dad is still awaiting his little hip operation that's uh, <laughs> it's never coming by the looks of it. But anyway, thank you for all the support. This is me and Brick Pink, Steve and Alex. Long but satisfying little job and we'll see you in the next one.